give it a minute or two for a couple people to get in here. Did it start for you? Nope. It's never right. Uh, hopefully you can hear okay and the echo in here isn't too bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. from West Alabama, I got my glasses. Oh, I can't see all these glasses. Hey, Cosmos, sound recordings, Brandon, Gino Scratch. Tall Eddie, Robert, Robert, and I'm gonna have to stop reading there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm way behind. Okay. Hopefully the camera will stay on there. I gotta tighten up that thing on the tripod. Oh, my neck and upper back are very sore from all of the looking up. There's so much that we're doing looking up. Uh, I have no lower back problems or anything. Just that upper neck thing, it's very bad right now. Somebody's already asking, how's the price of lumber? Lumber prices, I think, are about normal. I, I mean, I don't know what they were before, but we like those eight-foot two-by-fours are three dollars and eighty-eight cents a piece. So that whole, that one picture in the video that had the entire truck full of plywood, which is plywood, was still pricey, uh, but not what it was. It was forty-some dollars a sheet for the tongue and groove uh, plywood. Um, but yeah, no, I think they're they're pretty normal. So. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't think anything has been unreasonable for the, uh, for the stuff. Yeah, three, 388 for a two by four by eight, I, I think that's, uh, well, that's, that's the pre-cut, so a couple inches shorter, but. Have you thought about a mudroom from the shop to apartment? Um... No, I don't want to take away from, from this, but I mean, I clean up really good before I go on the bus usually anyways, so it's, it's no big deal. Yeah, Kelly's going to help me re read the questions for me as we go here. My glasses are really crooked. I know that I, I banged them real hard earlier. It's funny. Will the rain stop? I just saw somebody post that on there. It, it, it's raining right now, very lightly. But there's thunderstorms all around us. The the radar has it. I think it said like 15 minutes or something was going to be here. So talk about the doors, son. The the overhead doors that we're going to put on the shop. Um, it's kind of a sore subject right now. It's very expensive. Um, the first place that we got a bid for, um, they instantly came back and said it was going to be. $50,000 minimum for the doors. And then, uh, so I knew that was like, that's crazy amount. And then, and then the overhead door company got back to us with 23,000 something. Um, that's for one door. So that is for uh, 14 foot tall by, um, I don't remember what their quote was for, 20, 24 foot wide. So just one door instead of two, I thought we'd save some money. But obviously we're not saving money with that at all. So we're, I think we're, that was for a glass um, garage door, uh, black metal frame, aluminum, non-insulated glass. Uh, I can't remember what other specifics are. That wasn't even with an opener, that, that bid at $23,000. That was just, that was a pull chain to open the door. So uh, it's, we're gonna probably go a different route for now, um, just because you know we got other things, that, that's way too much money for that. I mean, that, that's more money than the actual building cost. So that's, that's a crazy, crazy amount. Um, Kelly had to go take care of Leroy real quick. Leroy wants to be out here with us. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to hear the video because it'd be panting. It's so humid out here. Okay, did you answer Spider that? webs everywhere in the building. I've been spraying and spraying, but apparently they're immune to what I've been spraying with. Go ahead. 
I answered, I answered about the doors, yeah. Okay, um, how has the concrete pad held up? Any cracks? There are no cracks in the concrete, but we haven't had any heavy vehicles other than the Dodge came in here yesterday uh, for the first time, the, the Dooley uh, pickup truck, and uh, we haven't had any buses in here yet. Um, but no, there's no cracks anywhere on the concrete. It's in very good shape. Will you treat the wall to the garage as firewall? Yeah, it has to be. Uh, co code requires that to be a firewall. Um, since there's a living or residence on the other side. Same thing when you have an attached garage to your house, you know, two car attached garage or whatever, three car garage to your, attached to your home. It's the same principles that go behind that for us to live on the other side of it. So drywalled and fire blocked and all that kind of stuff. No protrusions and stuff. Did your missing panels come in yet? They're scheduled to be here tomorrow. They're on a truck. Uh, instead of a door, I mean, I could, but that, that's not going to pass the KHOA approval, probably. No. <laughs> Maybe a short-term thing? Or... Yeah. Are there building codes in your area? <laughs> yes. Yes, and we have a building permit, a permit, and we have building, we have inspections and all kinds, of, yeah. It's, this is not just a do-whatever-you-want thing. Why not two 14 foot tall by 12 foot wide insulated doors? I just don't like the look of it. I, I mean, we have a certain look that we wanted and, and kind of our hearts were set on that glass door. Um, that was just something that we wanted. So we'll see. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily want, if I do two 14 foot doors, um, I really don't have any much space at all in between them. Uh, to get the height at 14 foot. 14 foot is really tall. And remember, we're a Quonset hut, so we do come in. So, I mean, four feet from the walls were already, or sorry, two feet from the walls were eight foot already, and four feet from the walls were already 12 feet. Um, but I don't have the dimension to do a big, so one big door would look better and then be able to have a service door and other stuff on there too, uh, entry door. That's fine. Yeah, that hurricane remnants is coming straight. Like if you, drew, they couldn't draw a straighter line right to us. I don't think. Are you ready for the storm? Yeah, I mean, we we got through the other one just fine. Did you work out the offer for your house? No. Hey, babe. I think you can tell. Is, is Dad allowed to tell? <laughs> yes, I was going to. So that was that was going to be part of this live stream. I just saw a super chat come through. Uh, hello from me and the family in New Zealand. Hope you have a lovely week. Hope the sun comes out. Yeah, it's funny the sun's trying to peek out now just a little bit. What have you chosen for the floor coverings over the concrete in your living space? I don't think we have chosen yet, have we? No, because we talked about leaving, doing stained concrete, but I've changed my mind. So. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We're... So, yeah, I don't know yet. I know just about everything else. Yeah. Uh, pro I mean, my guess would be like hardwood or something like that would be my guess. but. Probably, yeah. We'll see. How many buses will fit? Two. Two buses in the shop. By design. I didn't want anything bigger. When does the gap get filled in on the sides of the shop? Uh, when I do it. Um, I kind of need to finish the end. Well, I, yeah, I, I, those three end pieces that are wrong, well, the two end pieces are wrong and one piece that's missing. I can't complete the concrete anchors until those pieces are in. Um, and I can't even start that other end wall for the shop until that's, those pieces are here. So that was kind of holding everything up. And then, yeah, that gets all filled with uh, grout all along the sides there. So I don't know how many 50 pound or 80 pound bags of grout it's gonna take, but it's gonna take in a buttload. Uh, our concrete guy's gonna let us borrow his 
mixer, he said. So the big canister drum mixer thing that mixes them, so that'll save us some time and effort. But that is gonna be a monumental couple days probably uh, getting all that filled in. But I think I need the building inspector to come and probably check out the foundation attachments and stuff first, or at least I'll check with him uh, before we completely hide all that in grout because it's gonna get encased in basically cement um, and we don't want that. Definitely something I, I am thinking about is barn door for it. Um, looking at some bifolding hinges that are for barn doors and talking with Jeff, uh, you know, he's got a mill and everything about how to make some of those. I showed him some pictures and stuff. So it's definitely something that we're thinking about uh, and once the big glass garage door dream kind of went away for now. Have you considered building the doors yourself? Yeah, if we do it a barn door, we'll do it ourselves. But I don't think a glass door. Is the property behind you? Is the property our? I mean, that is our property back there still for another, I don't know, couple hundred feet or whatever. But I mean, it, the majority of our property is the other way. That's the neighbor's goats that you hear. Have you considered airplane style hanger doors for the shop? Yeah, but I don't like when, when there's sliding doors, um, when they go past the end of the building, some of them have like a large track that goes beyond the arch on it. It goes further. I don't like that. Um, and then when they get thicker, you know, if it's multiple smaller doors that roll like on a rail across the bottom, um, like a train track kind of thing, uh, those take up a lot of, you know, depth in the shop. And I didn't want that necessarily either. Uh, another super chat from Chad. Might buy a gallon of gas or something. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Appreciate that. Um, where is Indiana Diesel? Uh, um, probably in his bus. He was, yeah. or no, he wasn't running to get scooped with the hurricane storm thing coming, thinking power might go out. I think they were getting gas filled up for generators and other stuff like that around here. Um, nope, he's on here now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any plans to get the bus lifts like you used in the customer shop? Let's yep, uh, that is our plan. That's why we're not having a pit. Um, that is our plan to, to have the lifts like that. Um, it's, it's amazing how many times a day I get people, I can't believe you didn't put a pit in your shop. I don't understand why you didn't put a pit in your shop. Well, I, I've explained it a hundred times that I do not like standing up, working under something, looking up. I don't have the leverage to do it. I much prefer to lay down on the ground and work up over my head, uh, which is why the lifts will come in great. I'm not lifting it eight feet in the air. I just want to go, you know, a foot and a half in the air and be able to get under there and work on it. Uh, that's how I like to work and it doesn't hurt my neck and my back. Plus you got to worry about people falling in the pit, backing the bus into the pit, driving into the pit, all, you know, the dog falling into the pit. A lot of craziness. I, I just. We can use this for a lot more when buses are in here. Yeah. Um, what is your plan for the Kwan's wall and your home insulation? Uh, we have um, the rock wool that's going to go in um, all the interior walls and that kind of stuff. That's great for sound editing and, and insulation, and it's fireproof and all that good stuff. And then the Kwan's hut itself is going to be spray foam insulated. Uh, with a closed cell foam. Um, probably going to do the apartment part first uh, before we can afford to do the whole building because it's going to be very pricey to have that done. Why is it taking so long to get the last few pieces of metal to finish the entrance sides? I, I'm not responsible for that. So, um, I mean, it's been a month, right? Yep. It's been a month, so. At least they're giving them, they're getting us them. So let's hope they come and they're not damaged because I don't want to wait another month to hold everything up. Someone's asking hardwood, don't forget about Leroy scratching it. We have hardwood in our house. Yeah, we have hardwood way. everywhere. I'm not worried about that. I, I probably do more damage to the hardwood than the dog does. 
I don't want tile. Tile's too cold. Um, yeah, I would, I would do stained concrete before I do tile. The bathroom's going to be tile, though. Oh, I'm back. And I, I don't do carpet. Yeah, I definitely don't want carpet. It'll be so disgusting. Mm -hmm. Dusty and nasty. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't care if I ever have carpeting in another home again. Airplane hanger fold-up door? Um, oh, like the straight fold-up one. Yeah. Um, well, that was the first company that I contacted that had a $50,000 bid for the glass doors. Um, they opened that way. So it was two, two doors that bifolded, you know, that way, like that, like an airplane hanger. Um, that's all. How will you heat and cool? Probably going to put Mr. Cool mini splits in the apartment. Uh, and then out here, we're either going to have an oil burner and maybe a combination oil burner slash wood stove. I mean, we've got so much wood out here. I can, heating that won't be a problem. But I, Kelly doesn't necessarily like the smell of the smoke and stuff like that. So in the apartment, I don't think a fireplace or wood stove. She said maybe pellet, the pellet stoves or. For the shop. Well, we're going to have a fireplace in the apartment. But it's gonna be gas. Fun. Yeah, we have natural gas here. Uh, another super chat from Robert Dowling. Uh, great work. You've all done. Congrats. Thank you. Other than old Greyhound GM buses, what are your favorite buses to work on? I don't know. I mean, that's, I, oh, I like to work on like new look buses, this, this inner, inner city coach buses those are really for the most part they're pretty easy to get to everything um, my, my favorite bus to work on versus my favorite uh, bus period is two different things I guess so because <laughs> I mean we work on a lot of wonder lodges but man stuff's packed in those things and nothing's easy to get to and everything's overbuilt like I don't want to say overly complicated but extremely well engineered no, I don't know the word well so one over engineered I don't know was there another super chat? Robert Dowling again. Great. Oh, no, I read that one already. Yep. Um, wondering where your HVAC water heater, etc., are going to be in your apartment. Um, it's actually going to be in the corner in the shop here. So it'll go up close to the wall. So it's not really taking away any room from any of that stuff. What's the wind rating on the Quonset Hut? I think it's like 100 miles an hour. So that's, that's not a concern. You know, the, the uh, arches are very, well, you can research the arch if you want, but they're very strong structurally. Uh, they handle wind loads really, really well. Um, yeah. As a matter of fact, I suspect you'll probably end up seeing some Quonset huts and some videos coming out of Louisiana and other places. They'll still be standing and other homes around them won't be. So they're very strong. I don't know. Are there other ones rated higher than 100? Because it's 150 hitting there right now. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. They're strong. Uh, what does a building permit cost in the US? Uh, here in Tennessee, the building permit was only about $80, I think. But before you could get a building permit, you had to go to the county and pay some kind of tax that you have to have to build a structure, it was like $1,500. That's the, that's the that was their minimum. minimum. It's a dollar per square foot. Yeah, it's a dollar per square foot for a residence. So we only had to pay for it for the side that has living quarters. The garage part, I don't believe there's any fee to that other than the building permit. But if, it, if there's a residence part of it, then it was. So altogether, it was you know like $1,800 with all the county and state and, or, yeah, and town, city, whatever stuff. And that gives us six months. Yeah, we have six months to complete it. Super chat from Vincent. $20. Thank you, Vincent. Do you have anything else to go ahead and talk about? Because I'm trying to see what the next question is. No, we just have a lot of framing that we're still working on. So, um, a lot, a lot of work to do. We're going to go ahead and put Thompson's water seal on all of the wood at the end tomorrow. 
just because we know it's going to end up getting a little bit wet because of the rain that's coming. We don't have any way to close that off or anything. Um, it'll have a good 24 hours to completely dry on it. Uh, and that's just, a, you know, it is pre everything that touches the ground is pressure treated. So all those sill plates are pressure treated lumber. Anything that's touching the metal on the Quonset hut, we also did pressure treated on it. Um, just because I didn't want moisture issues or condensation, that kind of stuff. So, uh, but the rest of the wall, <coughs> excuse me, is not, that's just regular lumber. And it's going to be, it, it's under a two foot overhang of the building. But if the rains come in sideways, that, that wood's going to get wet. at least if they were in all caps. Okay, yeah, if you had a question that you didn't ask in all caps, make sure you do it in all caps because that's what Kelly is reading. As that's how we scroll through it. It's so easy to stand out when they're all caps. Yeah, I don't have a, really have a way to attach the tarps up really high right now. Um, it's not worth it. I, you know, it, It's not gonna hurt it to get wet, but I just we just wanted to put it on there and it'll help. There's gonna be so many windows there. It'll just be better to have that on the wood anyways. Demolishing old buildings with large garage doors you can salvage. I really about that. I've looked on Craigslist uh, three or four times in the last few months for, for used garage doors. I was hoping I could find some, you know, that came out of a shop with the glass on them, but I haven't even seen regular ones on there. I had considered roll up doors too because they don't take up height room inside. So the, the kind that actually roll in a certain, you know, the corrugated or whatever metal ones. Um, Kelly doesn't necessarily like the look of those, but uh, I think the, the sliding barn door is probably where we're at right now, but we'll see. If we win the lottery, we'll get the, the glass doors like we wanted. I am tired. I am beat. We, we have been up early every day going. I mean, it's just, I mean, that's a lot of work back there. It's, on, it's been a week, right? It's been a week that we were framing? Yeah, we've messed all week. While working on buses here too. So. Are you going to use sheet metal or inner on inner wall in the shop side? No. Any pushback or special requirements for mixed use shop residential? No, just that there has to be a firewall in between. That, that's the only. Yeah, I'm not thrilled though. I haven't have a steel fire door. Yeah, she, she wouldn't have wanted a steel door in between here to there, but. I'd have that too. There may be wood doors that are fire rated. Well, I want to look into that. I think there's some very, you know, may, maybe better. it has a wood veneer on it and the inside well, is like concrete so nice. or something. I don't know. I, bet, I think there is. I, I remember being somewhere and I saw this huge heavy wood door and it had a stamp on it said fire door on it. So. Uh, have you thought about putting in a wood boiler and it will heat your water? Uh, yeah, but then when I want hot water, I got to have, I, yeah, no, I, we'll just have a, we have an instant hot water heater at the house. We love it. We have another instant hot water heater here that we use for the bathtub and stuff. And um, that, that's the way to go because we have natural gas. So the natural gas is cheap, efficient, and it works wonders. So the fact that we have it here is great. Is the apartment you're building single or multi-level? Uh, well, there's a loft, so everything above the kitchen and bathroom is a loft. So if you watch, watch the video on it, you'll see it. We go up in the loft in there. Are you going to put a deck on the upper floor? Uh, not, not right now. That's not in the plan, but it is able to be able to do that because of the way that we constructed that wall over there. So. There are fire-rated wood doors, but they are expensive. Depends on how expensive and what the different look is. Is the floor sealed? Mm, not yet. How are you going to heat the living area? Uh, with the Mr. Cool. Probably a couple mini splits, I think, is the plan right now. But we have natural gas, so we can put a, you know, she, she said we're going to have a natural uh, fireplace in there. You can go take care of Leroy if you want to. Okay, well, I'm right at the bottom. And things do not I'll try to read some questions. I hear Leroy is in the bus and there's been thunder and stuff. So he's a little on edge today. 
we have not sold the house yet. Uh, we had an offer on the house and things didn't work out very well with that, so. Everything the realtor said he was coming back and changing later and then telling us things that weren't true and we, we were not comfortable with that realtor. We did accept the offer that the people made. We said we would be happy to take that offer, um, just not with that realtor, you'd have to have a different realtor. Uh, thank you about the anniversary. We just had our anniversary yesterday. Our 28th wedding anniversary. Uh, an output shaft seal on the side-by-side -side is leaking. I'm not really sure why or what, but I'm certainly not going to take the time to, to tear into that too much. Uh, I just made sure the oil level was full on it, and it's actually a little bit over full, so we're good to go. Was he messing trying to get in there? He knocked the fan over. He just slide himself in there. Yeah, he's figured out how to break through our bedroom, open our bedroom door, so we had to put a lock on the bedroom door, and then now, he's because he knew how to get in there, he's trying, he actually broke the door like down, like off the thing the other day. So now we put a chair in front of it too, and I, I'm afraid he's gonna destroy the chair trying to get into the bedroom. Well, it's rumbling out there. He knows the storm's coming. Yeah, he does not like thunder. He does not like thunder. He, I scared him the other day. He was out here and I fired off the nail gun. I didn't. I forgot that Kelly had him out here on a leash and he didn't like that and he was freaked out. And he, that's when he broke into her bedroom after he, that. That was when he broke, in, broke the door down in the bedroom. Yeah, this is a this is a temporary living residence here and then we're going to build a house but it's probably going to be a couple years that we're in this thing it's gonna be nice though um but it's just gonna be like a guest house later so what are you doing to protect your solar from the storm nothing that's stronger than anything else so if anything the solar panels are protecting my bus from the storm they're, they're, they're fine they're indestructible We've been through hail with them, right? Yeah, hail, hail, wind, where nothing affects them. They're good. What about condensation on the metal? Are you going to foam insulate? Everything's gonna be foam insulated. Do you believe we're caught up? I'm not sure what time you started. I didn't see that. A lot of people calling happy anniversary. Did you mention that while I was on? Yeah, uh, yes, somebody else said, said that and then I, said yes, that we just had our anniversary yesterday. And then uh, while we're talking about happy and exciting news, um, we found out the day before the big storm, the night before, just a few hours before it started raining. <laughs> we, we were so busy with other things, but um, we found out that we are gonna be grandparents. So Kelly and I are super excited that uh, our daughter Bailey and her husband Jonathan are expecting uh, in April 4th still, is that? Yeah, so. Uh, Grandbaby on the way. That's very exciting. Lighting for the shop. Um, we have the LEDs that are in here now. I have one company that wants to send us a, some uh, shop lights that are LEDs. Um, I think I'm going to test those out and see if I like them, and maybe go that route too. They're they're like foldable LED panels that come out of like a regular traditional socket bulb type thing. So uh, it seems like it would throw the light pretty well. Uh, but we're, we're going to definitely have some light in here. The, the good news is, is I don't really work at night. Um, and in the daytime, at least right now, the lighting in here is really good most of the time. So I don't think it's going to be a big, big concern for us. Is electrical stubbed into the building? No, we have a couple of extension cords that run in here. We, everything out here, we're on a temporary power pole. So the meter and everything that we have is a temporary pole. Um, and I got to wait to get that switched over, but I don't think we can do that until the, we get the occupancy permit uh, or when they'll switch it for that. Uh, we have to pay an extra fee and all kinds of stuff just because it's temporary. There's nothing, as far as the power company is concerned, it is a permanent installation out there, but it is just a, quote, temporary pole. So, yeah, we, I'm not messing with anything electrical yet. I will be doing all that, you know, but I, I need to get the framing up first. 
uh, and then once all the walls are up and we can get doors on it and protect it from the weather, then, you know, get into the plumbing and the electrical and that kind of stuff. Is there a question on the questions so far? My, my neck. I'm in so much pain. Okay. All right. Last. This will be the last like two minutes or whatever. If there's any questions, throw them up there real quick, and I'll try to get to them. Anything else on there? Seal. No, we haven't, and, and we're, we don't even know what we're going to do. I mean, the, the original plans was to put the epoxy floor coat down in here, and then people that I've talked to, and I know the other shops I've worked in, sometimes I'll, you know, pick up something and the paint peels up off the floor with it. Um, some of the chemicals still eat it up. You know, we like to use brake clean and stuff like that too, so, um, yeah, I, I don't know what we're going to do, because... The, the kind of sealer that we used on the pad, that stuff got ate up by diesel fuel, eats it. it doesn't, oil doesn't really affect it, but diesel fuel for some reason eats it up. And then uh, so does uh, brake clean. It just turns it into a sticky mess and then it stains even worse. So um, we, we don't really know what we're going to do. I, I don't want to spend $20,000 for a concrete flooring uh, prep. Or, and that's what the high-end military industrial grade stuff is. And... Uh, I don't think that the Rust-Oleum stuff is really that good. People that have used it haven't given me very good reviews. And for, you know, if, to spend $2,000 to have something done on the concrete, I don't think is, if I'm not, ha I don't want to spend that kind of money if I'm not happy with it. So uh, maybe it'll just get some regular sealer and we'll try to be careful for a while or put some rubber mats down. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. I, Budget time and then being happy, you know, I don't want to put all that time and effort into something and not be happy with it. Um, so, I mean, there's a million decisions to make. So it's, it's, it actually gets frustrating with how many suggestions people, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Um, everything costs money and it takes time to do it. And we're trying to get this done and trying to get it closed up. And, you know, we got winter coming. Oh, that was another thing, that $23,000 garage door, that's a six month lead time on that door too. So we wouldn't even have it throughout the whole entire winter. We'd have no garage door and pay that kind of money for it. I think they wanted half down up front or something like that. Um, that, that, that was crazy. Six month lead time? That was, uh, that was crazy. Sorry, tangent. <laughs> uh, best way to get a hold of you for some bus work. Uh, through Patreon. Uh, we're not doing anything on the road this year, so it will be next year if we get back on the road, and I honestly have a monstrous waiting list for people for that. So if you're wanting service like at your location, uh, you're, it's not going to happen. Uh, you're probably five years out before I could even get you, you know, I, I got to respect the people who, in the order that things came in. Uh, if you want to get service done here at the shop, um, you have to join Patreon, and then I'll give you all the information on how to do that there. And we have a couple of openings still, you know, throughout this year, so we can get you in here and there. But uh, it's not it's not crazy open. So. So far, do you think you would have done some things differently? Hmm. I would have tightened all of the bolts a little earlier when we were doing the building when it was easier to access to get yeah. to them. I definitely would have done that. To begin with. Um, but other than that, no, I don't think there's anything. We, we, we waited perfectly for the lumber prices to come back down. I think that was great because, you know, a month or two earlier, if we, you know, if we got this building and when we got it delivered in January, if we would have started building it in February, we would have paid four times as much or three times as much for the lumber. Well, we so. paid a lot more for the lumber that we had Help yeah, the just just the, the lumber that we bought that was the sticks when we were support, building those first couple arches that supported it until it was a, a complete structure. Um, that was like five hundred and something dollars just for those. I don't remember what it was like. Yeah, like a twelve. A dozen, maybe a, yeah, a dozen boards or something. That was crazy. So. Um, big ass fan for the shop ceiling. We're thinking about that. Uh, we are thinking about it. I like those. Um, it had to come down a little bit, but I have plenty of height up it. That wouldn't. I just saw a super yeah. chat on there from 
John. Thank you, John. Great progress. Yeah, it's been really, it's a lot. Um, and tomorrow when those other panels come in, I'd like to get those swapped out. The, get the building actually finished on the outside, the metal part of it, that's, that'll be a milestone. Um, I got more buses coming in. I got another bus coming in for a rebuild on a, a 8V71. And uh, I got a MCI that's here right now that we're working on, having some wheel bearing issues with it. Um, somebody else is coming in Sunday, yeah. a week from today. I don't remember. I haven't even looked at what their to-do list is. I think it was a big one, though. And then I got another Patreon member coming by to visit. Um, it's going to be really crowded around here for a while. And yeah, one of Lance's buses is here right now getting some service by Tyler. Um, there's just, there's a lot going on. It's busy, 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 busy. Is your apartment going to have a loft? Yes. Yeah, watch the video on it. I just posted it earlier today and it'll show you the view from up there. It's actually, it's kind of, it seems really high and scary when you're up there right now. <laughs> I'm sure once there's railings and stuff. It won't... Once we, get up there, but yeah. <laughs> we don't have stairs to it yet. So Kelly wants a nice metal staircase that's going to go up to it. It's going to be, that's going to take a little while to get that taken care of. Okay. We have someone telling you they might want to look into hard deck from air tech coatings as a chemical resistant. So we'll have to look into that. Never heard of it. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully it's not crazy expensive because honestly the, the budget is not, uh, you know, most of that stuff that I've been looking at is, you know, three to five thousand dollars, and I, I don't want to spend that for that. Okay. Okay. I, I hate to cut it short, but my, my neck is really very. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um, it's been a long. This week has been crazy. Yeah, with the the storm. And then we got another storm coming and just, you know, all that work that we've got done in the past week. And I, I need some time to relax. And we've, we've been, we framed up more walls here today and we've been to the lumber yard and I uh, went to help one of our neighbors had a car issue this morning and uh, just spend a lot of going. So I'm going to go take it easy tonight, get in the air conditioning. It's been very hot. Even today it was, feels like a hundred craziness so okay is that it yeah. thank you very much and again super excited we're gonna be grandparents that is very very exciting for us so everybody take care thanks for watching y'all have a good weekend and uh, stay safe if that storm is heading towards you too